Hey guys, I'm here with another FFB War of the Visions video. Yesterday was Wednesday, which means we have our usual weekly update and we do have quite a number of new stuff to be talking about, like the new UR banner featuring Miranda and the MR Lamia Queen vision card, new stuff in the shop, more training quests, and of course, more awesome rewards. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about are the new events. Okay, so let's head over to the events. Okay, close for this. Okay, so firstly, there's a once a day unit training supportive quest, which is this one right here. So far, these once a day quests are a no brainer since the rewards contain awesome stuff like rare awakening materials and they only cost 8 energy a day. Okay, so make sure you complete this daily for the next 7 days. I actually missed out one day yesterday because I was preparing for this video and then I just kind of missed out on all the dailies. Even the dailies, you know, I actually didn't collect the rewards and then I just fell asleep. But anyway, be sure to do all this also and order your daily quest, okay? Rainbow rocks, guys, and all these awakening materials, okay? So be sure to do that. M50 gill snapper large, okay? So just one time and you reap a lot of rewards. So remember to do this. Okay, next up, we have a new secret reward quest. It's a bag. Uh, we actually had this a while ago and then this time I believe they have a new quest which is armor, accessory and ninja blade. Okay, so be sure to clear that and get their rewards. These are great if you are in the phase of crafting weapons or at least trying to stock up on these to prepare for future craft since they provide a lot of crafting materials that you cannot usually get elsewhere. Okay, and the next one is the brutal quest which is still up for another week so keep that in mind if you're aiming to plus 5 the smart coat or maybe the golden helm also. Highly recommend to get as high as possible since plus 5 grants you additional stats. And finally, we have a new equipment training quest. Okay, this time with no warning sign whatsoever. So let me just run through this once. Okay, uh, let's do the sleep blade. Do you have any requirements? Okay, do not hire this. No KO. Okay, so it just goes straight. Oh, I have no energy. Okay, I will replenish to do this quest. Okay, I have a lot of energy pots unused, which I have been actually actively using, you know, whenever I can. Okay, so once again, we have a lot of choices which can be confusing for most players, okay, not just new players. So even if you have been playing for a while, you might be confused like, you know, what should I be farming, things like that. They are all really good choices. So it boils down to which do you actually need most and prioritize those first, especially the smart code. I highly recommend that since it's gonna end earlier than the rest. Before you know it, the smart code quest is gonna be gone. So try to farm for enough recipes, okay, 63 at least, before the events ends. After that, you can decide if you want to farm for the golden axe or the sleep blade. I'm not going to go into like super details into the, in this video, maybe another time. But in short, farm for the golden axe if you have characters that can actually use axe. The first unit I have in mind is Yerma. Since a lot of characters actually use the swords, actually the new Emma in this banner, Dorando, actually also uses this is the reason why axe is actually in this event. Okay, let's do the axe quest as well. Okay, and then I believe the Sleep Blade is actually made for Raid Majors like the new banner unit, Miranda and also Murmur, a SR unit that is pretty unique if you have heard of her. She's not even MR but a SR unit which is quite a niche unit that has been talked about recently, okay, uh, the past couple of weeks. Okay, so both Raid Majors actually use Magic Attack and they both equip Swords. Okay, so Sleep Blade is ideal for both of them, but it puzzles me how weak the Assault Rolls for Sleep Blade was and even thought it might be still a mistake. But I guess it's, they're just meant for different class. Nonetheless, I may just farm for one to see the stats for Assault might, which might just be the case. This is if I can remember, you know, as time goes by. That's all for the limited events. Okay, anyway, remember to do your 3 times daily quest, which I explained in my previous weekly farming video. I may need to do another one soon because of this new stats the event stages okay so all this you remember to do them especially the pots growth egg and the guild chamber okay uh guild chamber fortunately you know we have like a free farm uh, every weekend so if you are out of guild try to spam the guild stages on the weekend okay next let's take a look at the milestone in the missions okay, as usual new events come new missions if you do not know you know just in case there's a friendly reminder here okay all this monthly stuff remember to do it okay importantly okay events whenever you have a new event there's something new right here okay so this time we have a new equipment training quest right here okay so be sure to do that okay five times each for sleep blade 
and also golden eggs respectively to get all their rewards okay five times and then you get the recipe you get a bunch of awakening materials you know also to enhance the adamantite and then same goes for Maltese okay so once you completed the Maltese five times each okay then you get reap their rewards it's kind of like a no-brainer to at least do five each whenever you have a new event and then next uh the secret book quest okay so right now we have part two of the secret book quest oh I still missed what one okay so again do five times each if you have not done so previously okay this is the previous one okay the first one right here completed okay the secret book quest okay so previously if you have not done so you can actually do it this time okay the rewards are awesome okay a lot of awakening materials and also visuals okay so i'm just gonna collect this okay look at how much how many awakening materials are there okay and i still need one of these okay then after that let's head over to the shop okay same thing as all the feature units banner has their shots and their respective awakening materials right here okay new feature unit okay so you get a bunch of stuff like this that i'll usually just buy because it's just 5000 gil okay the memories are really cheap and they're pretty rare it's like the drop rate is like almost like five percent or something like that and then this are a huge time saver so i'm just gonna grab this as well you don't have to join multi like 100 times just to get all those 50 fragments. I usually like buying all these awakening materials. It actually saves a lot of time, you know, with all these 100,000 gil. They can actually be farmed, you know, like in multis, but you know, time is precious. You might want to use the time pen on other multis, such as the event stages right now. Okay, and in the feature shop, we have the father-daughter combo Rob and Mashiri. Just grab all the job materials as well. Okay, awakening materials is... I'm just gonna grab this. I mean 2005, 5000 gil. Oh, come on. You can buy more of these. Okay, and then the light awakening materials. I actually don't have that much. So I'm just gonna grab them right here. And the job awakening materials. Okay, all these. Honestly, it saves you a lot of time. So I personally think these are actually worth grabbing. But too bad the 5 star ones actually cost visual. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. And then next, 5 million download shop. Actually a bunch of paid stuff. So I'm not gonna go into details for that. Feels a little underwhelming seeing we have been getting a lot of rainbow rocks and rainbow ops in the celebration shops but actually not in this one they do have eggs and the manta and stuff if you are lacking feel free to grab all these eggs so that you can level up your vision cards and if you're still lacking you can actually grab the element type to level up your equipment as well and of course all these if you need feel free to grab them okay now that we're mostly done with the event stuff let's talk about the new banner okay in this banner the featured ur unit is actually miranda and sadly no other ur cards in this banner she's not a limited summon but she's actually pretty good for a ur in rank s plus in altima along with other units like medina kiton and ramza okay that's her ranking in uh, altima Okay, so first thing I want to highlight is she's a water unit and will be the strongest water unit in a very long time to come until the mathematician waifu Idira arrives. Honestly, I think her job is going to be called calculator, but we'll see. Okay, it might just be called mathematician instead. Unfortunately, this also means lightning units like Orlando and Frederica will have a much easier time with her, Miranda, and she will have a difficult time with those teams, okay? And they are literally everywhere, okay? A lot of players including myself run lightning units like Orlando or Federica. Okay, one ability she has that is in highlight is jammer trust or jamming trust. This ability has the same insane range of five. Okay, let me just go into the website. Okay, in the S plus rank, okay, it's Mirin Miranda. Okay. okay, let's scroll down all the way to her ability jamming trust. Okay, it's called jammer trust here in JP. This ability has the same insane range of five which melee units are not supposed to have but they do in this game anyways for reference jamming trust has a base damage of 65 times 200 times multiplier comparing with orlando's crush armor at negative five times to 21 times which is almost five times more damage though her magic stats isn't as high as orlando's attack since their damage is actually based as such she's definitely a really strong unit with her own right and since she's a red mage okay, her starting ap is a lot higher than other units as well this means like medina she can actually use her limit burst the moment she can reach her target okay her limit burst is an aoe damage 70 times to 105 times multiplier water attack called crimson storm which also has a 67 percent chance to confuse the enemies for three turns this is actually really powerful aoe but then it's limited to melee range and finally her tmr is a cloth armor that gives the user 482 hp 10 defense and 8 crit evasion the skill granted is a really nice magic plus slash attack buff for three turns you know really nice for herself especially or her teammates 
consists of raid majors, which is, isn't a lot in the game actually. Okay, thankfully the free stuff are still coming and we have a 5 million downloads free 10 times summon. The free item summons are still here as well. I'm just gonna do this immediately. I missed out on so many yesterday, you know, was like saving for video, but I did not make the video. <laughs> This is actually a huge problem for me, but I'm trying to fix that even though it's so difficult to do it, but I don't know guys. Okay, so anyway, for this week, the name is just different. 5 million dollars limited normal summon. Okay, still free three times a day. So every eight hours, they will rotate. So be sure to do that whenever you're awake or so most likely you'll be able to do at least one or two times a day. Okay, I missed out on the three times yesterday because yeah, okay. So it's... <laughs> actually explain okay so anyway let's check out the rates for the five million dollars okay most of you have probably already done so and have got a crazy post okay same stuff two percent for ur and vision cards average of 0.138 percent for ur units except voila gilgamesh okay at 0.069 percent okay all the non-limited units are in this banner including the ur miranda where's miranda okay right here water I believe that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and like this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Reform. No. Okay, but it's a but it's a unit. Oh man, I think it's just gonna reform to MR. Oh, but guys, this looks actually looks good. Yeah, hopefully for some nice rainbow reforms. Okay. Come on. Hype. No. Okay, fine. Oh, new unit. You probably fucking what direction? Oh, Nasha! Okay. Oh, I'm surprised I actually haven't gotten her. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, uh, more ammo, more fragments, more shards. Okay. Okay, I uh, actually have gotten this quite a few times. Uh, okay. Quite a disappointment. I, I'm not getting more rainbows. Okay. Oh, yes! Vow of Love! I finally can awaken this. Uh, wait. Awaken? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, next one. Okay, Behemoth. Okay, that's really nice as well. Reform? No! Oh, but Shadow Links. Yeah, okay, he's gonna reform. Oh man, rip. So oh, there's no rainbow in this pool. Okay, Fina. Sure, sure, sure. That's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, guys, I recently have been forgetting to do pools in, you know, banner units videos, okay, which I have been doing. But I just kind of slip off the mind because of the free pools. But anyway, this is just one pool, okay? So every time it's just one pool. I'm gonna just gonna do it one time, you know, and just see how it goes. Depend on the luck and things like that. Okay, it looks... Mm, but we'll see, okay. So anyway, I have not done the visual, the vision card one, so I'm gonna do it in this video, okay. So this is gonna be a vision card. Oh, wow, this looks pretty bad. So thankfully, I'm not, like, wasting all my visuals on all these pools. Okay, all not looking good at all. Okay, the rest are cards. 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 Oh, okay, reform. Okay, nice. Reform? No. Okay. Okay, that looks really bad. Okay, so since I did not actually did this the last time, I'm gonna make up for it in this video, okay? So here goes, fingers crossed. Hopefully I get Odin, I don't know. I just, you know, just one pull to just test the luck. Okay, earlier on was rip, but you know, hopefully it reforms. No, okay, this anyway, this, uh, this is not a vision card. Okay, hopefully I get something. Mm, okay, no, it's MR. Okay, oh, it's Marple again. Oh, okay, Tom. Okay, I think this is another rip. So, okay, sacrifice 4,000 visuals in this video. You know, not worth it, but you know, I had to do it. Nope. Okay, it's like MR. Okay, that's all. <laughs> all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.